वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 5.18 सो स्टेटमेंट इज फॉर द बीम एंड लोडिंग शोन डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस ड्यू टू बेंडिंग ऑन सेक्शन ए ए सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ बीम ए बी वेयर डिफरेंट पॉइंट लोडिंग्स ऑफ 30 किलो न्यूटन 50 50 एंड 30 किलो न्यूटन इज एक्टिंग एंड द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन ईच लोड इज गिवन एज जीरो पॉइंट एट मीटर सो दिस इज द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ द बीम दैट इज थ्री टेन बाई फिफ्टी टू एंड वी हैव बीन आस्ट टू फाइंड द मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस एट सेक्शन ए ए सो वी विल राइट द गिवन डेटा इन गिवन डेटा वी हैव गिवन दैट दिस इज डब्ल्यू थ्री टेन बाई फिफ्टी टू बीम क्लियर एंड वट वी हैव फाइंड सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द मैक्सिमम नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस due to bending on section ए ए नाउ वी नो दैट दिस इज सेक्शन ए ए एंड वी डू नॉट नो द रिएक्शन ऑफ फोर्सिस एट पॉइंट ए एंड बी सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड दिस रिएक्शन फोर्सिस सो लेट दिस इज आर ए एंड दिस इज आर बी Now you can see that when you section the beam at A A, the loading on left side is equal to the loading or condition on the left side. So uh, it, it means that there will be a symmetry. So in solution by symmetry, we by symmetry we say that R A is equal to R B. Clear. so again by using the sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and taking upward force as positive so ra minus 30 kilo newton minus 50 minus 50 minus 30 plus rb and rb is equal to ra so we will write ra their sum must be equal to 0 it means two times of ra will be equal to 180 uh, 160 because 50 50 100 and 160 so it is 160 so from here you will get ra is equal to 80 kilo newton since ra is equal to r b then uh, then we can write this is equal to 80 kilo newton okay now uh, for maximum stress at section a a we will cut the beam at this position and we will write the free body diagram so let me draw it first so if you take this beam so let this is r a clear this is one load that is 30 kilo newton and the other one is 50 kilo newton so you when you cut the beam at section a a so definitely there will be a shear force and a bending movement let this is point j and the distance between this force to this is 0.8 so this is 0.8 this is again 0.8 and this remaining distance will be 0.4 because you can see that this is the half and total is 0.8 so this is 0.4 okay now we will apply a equilibrium condition in order to find this reaction moment m so some we will write uh, equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point j is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so at j you know that this moment is counter clockwise so m plus due to this load this load 50 kN and perpendicular distance is 1.6 uh, this will be 1.6 so it will be producing a moment so let me write it 50 sorry at point j we are taking the moment at point j not at Six. So fifty into perpendicular distance is zero point four. So we will write fifty into zero point four, and it is producing 
counter clockwise movement so it will be positive similarly this force 30 into perpendicular distance is this which is 1.2 and it is also producing a counter clockwise movement so i will write it plus 30 into 1.2 and the third for the third force which is r a and that is equal to 80 kilo newton so 80 kilo newton into perpendicular distance is this and this is producing clockwise so it will be uh, minus so r a is uh, 80 into perpendicular distance is now 2 and this is negative so their sum must be equal to 0 so when you solve this you will get moment is equal to 104 kilo newton into meter or you can say 104 into 10 to power 3 newton into meter now as we know that maximum stress is equal to m into c divided by i r we have we can write it m over i divided by c where i divided by c is s which is section modulus so for for w 310 into 52 what will be the value of section modulus so we will check that in the property table at the end of the book mechanics of material by bear and johnson so let me show you the value so here you can see that uh, this is w310 by 52 clear and section modulus is 747 into 10 to power 3 cubic millimeter so write down this value so 4 7, 747 into 10 to power 3 cubic millimeter and in term of meter that will be equal to 747 into 10 to power minus 6 cubic meter now you can put you have this value moment and you have section modulus you can put the maximum stress is equal to 104 into 10 to power 3 divided by section modulus is Mm, 747 into 10 to the power minus 6 so again when you calculate it it will be 139.2 into 10 to the power 6 pascal or you can say that maximum stress is equal to 139.2 mega pascal at section a a so this was all about problem 5.18. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.